In wallet circles, two of the most well-known names are Ridge and Exto. The Ridge due to its entry as the dominant maker of band wallets, and Exto due to their out of the left field functional design that's kind of taken the wallet area by storm. So now being that they're both metal wallets and both have good fan bases, we'll be doing a comparison between them. So let's get into it. Now, both of these wallets, of course, uh, are slim wallets by our definition. And let's pull them out here really quickly. We have this burnt uh, titanium, which just is fantastic. And it comes with a wrench, which we'll talk about a bit. And if we get into the last wallet you'll ever need, this is the XTO, and we will pull it out as well. Set this packaging aside, and let's go through a, a quick feature comparison between the two. First, let's look at the Ridge. Now, the Ridge, cards insert easily all at once in the main opening, which is right here. Company recommends up to 12 cards before overstretching this elastic, which can happen. And of course, accessing cards is by this thumb or finger push here, they come out. There is an excellent lip uh, here on the inside metal piece that uh, provides a path to least resistance for cards to go in, which is really quite nice. And this one is a cash band. They also have a cash uh, money clip version of this. You fold cash in thirds or quarters, or, thir or fourths, that's right, and you put that in there and it provides just a very compact method of carrying cards and cash. Now the XDO itself comes in four card sizes, a four, six, eight, and 10. So there is a limitation whereas the Ridge can handle up to 12 cards and anything in between. With the XDO, we're left with just a limitation on the number of cards based off of the size that you purchase. Now when I did the review uh, originally, with the Stow Wallet, which was the precursor to the Exto, they didn't have a 10 card version. So this is really good to see. Might be interesting to note, they have a lanyard attachment here, or you know something for a anti-pickpocket um, lanyard, something like that. We look at the top, this is where they call the business card. And this is a holder. Notice that it's kind of bent a bit on each side. That's to help hold cards down when it's placed in there. They, uh, they sell a carbon fiber version of this and that would be the recommended one. It's stronger, meaning more rigid, and I use this for IDs. I put ID in here as well as uh, other loyalty cards and whatnot. The cards, of course, uh, credit cards, they insert here, they click into place, and underneath the cards is where you place your cash. So cash goes on the bottom, folded in thirds or fourths. And uh, this bottom titan or, uh, uh, stainless steel spring here is really what provides the basis for cards as they're in cash underneath to hold everything in place. And that is how cards and cash and other cards are maintained in the stone. Now let's look at these wallets from three perspectives, construction, capacity, and usability. Let's start with the Ridge. This is the burnt titanium version. It's designed in the United States and it's made in China. It's made from a grade five titanium screwed with aluminum screws to metal plates. These plates on the interior here, these are metal. And uh, the thing I like about this one is that it has a screwdriver. A lot of them have a screwdriver to them. But what I've really enjoyed as I've looked at the, at the Ridge is that it's totally serviceable. If this elastic here breaks, it breaks on the interior, anything goes wrong, you can completely take this apart and it will function just fine for you when you put it back together. As well as Ridge uh, sells replacement elastic, those kinds of things. So this wallet can last a long time. It's just not a one and done or once it breaks, you have to throw it away. Now let's look at the the uh, cash strap. Now on the bottom of all of the cash straps on the Ridge wallets, they have these little grippy nodules here. I, uh, that's just a great attention to detail because when you place cash in there, you don't want cash to go slipping out and getting lost. So these, no, these little nodules, these little plastic grippy nodules help hold cash in place. And that's really them trying to think of everything that goes on there. So now let's look at the Exto itself. Designed and made in the United States, it's CNC'd from a 6061 aluminum, powder coated here. I've got green in this color and it contains no elastic or plastic. It's all metal. There, well, okay, for this little piece in the top, and but if you had uh, the carbon fiber one, it would be metal and carbon fiber. Now there are six colors to choose from. Uh, the, the, Thin stainless steel plate is a bit of a spring, as mentioned before. It helps support the, uh, it used to be plastic, and this helps support the cash, and so it's increased in quality that we have here. This is also a bit larger to handle for foreign currencies between the original Sto and the XTO, which we have here, which was really a deficiency in the first wallet. So for all foreign currencies can fit in here because of height. There was a height difference between the Sto and the XTO we have here. Now there are also a couple design changes between the two, the original Sto and this XTO. The, the first is with the tension arm here. This flexible tension arm has been removed. It used to be very open on both sides and it was very obvious how it worked. And it is now more, more substantial. Now let's look at the size differences between these two. 
The dimensions of the ridge is 3.4 by 2.1 by 0.3 inches, and the X-toe is 3.75 by 2.3, and then it really, its, it's uh, depth depends on the cart option that you have. The weight on the ridge, it's 73 grams, and the X-toe, it's 40 grams. From a price perspective, the ridge is 105, and the X-Do in this configuration is 62. It does go up to 66, I think, as it increases $2 by the different capacities. Now, from a capacity card perspective, the Ridge can hold normally six cards, three slips of cash. The company says it can hold up to 12. And the X-Do, six cards. Again, it's a six-card wallet, uh, three slips of cash. Now, the company says that up to the number of cards per model, with, again, their largest model being 10 cards. From a usability perspective, I perform carry test on carry tests on both of these. And with the uh, titanium in particular, the card insertion started to be, is very smooth, as I mentioned, because of the lip that exists here on both of these insertion points. Let me show you how that works. I've got six cards here. And again, we're dealing with a, a kind of a stack here always. It just fits, it slips in, not a problem. And by way of usability, just use that thumb, push it out. You can move your cards around and find the card you want without having to pull the entire thing out. The, uh, and again, putting it back in, this little lip here just makes it an easy transition. However, by way of <clears throat> preparation for the card you use the most, it is su suggested and recommended you have that card on either the top or bottom as they're easiest to pull from versus ones that are inside. And you know, if you have more cards that you carry, it may just be easier to pull the whole stack out. You find the card you want, you, you put it back in, and putting it back in uh, the wallet itself is just an easy exercise. It's not that difficult and it holds very nicely. Even though we have an opening here, the rear has a elastic that is here to keep as a backstop. So you can't push these cards through. And again, one direction with this thumb to get them out this way. Another thing that, that uh, I like about this wallet is, again, I mentioned the serviceability and the elastic that you see here and it, you see on the edges and on the back, that is a single piece of elastic that if you unscrewed this wallet and pulled those interior plates off and looked at it, you can see all the channels where this one piece of elastic that's been kind of melted, welded together fit. And that's great because again, it makes it easy to service and it is a one piece to uh, uh, to fall apart instead or have problems instead of multiple pieces. Now for the X-Do, this tension bar has been improved. So we take these same six cards and we slide them in and you can hear a very satisfying click. And that means that it is captured inside of the tension bars and it's these cards aren't coming out and again if we see how cash is done cash goes here i'll show you how that works uh, it, it goes under this the uh, strap on the ridge but i'll just show you how this fits and so easy enough you can just kind of move your cards to the side you put your cash on the bottom here moves it in cash does not come out this spring on the bottom here and the tension maintaining these cards keeps cash from coming out you can see there's a little dip there and that little dip is to help facilitate when you pull some cards at back you want to access your cash but otherwise it helps in retention of the cash itself one thing i, I like about the x stow uh, versus the ridge is that the cash is stowed on the x stow beneath your card so you can't see your cash cash is visible on the outside of the ridge and so a lot of people don't like having their cash being being shown okay now what's problematic between these two wallets well, let's take a look at, uh, at the Ridge first. Overall, the band suffers from the same problem. All your contents are stacked into a single space with no organizational method provided by the wallet. What this means is that in a normal wallet, you have different slots where you can place and organize your cards and you can easily retrieve them based on where they're at and you can see them. In a band wallet like this, you're working from a monolithic stack that you have to strategically place the cards that you put in there. So a good example of that is if we put all these cards in here and now, how do I get to these cards in the middle? Well. Uh, you know, I, I will not argue with people who say, well, it's not that hard. You just kind of start fanning them out and get to your cards that way. And it's true. This is how it works. But it's a little, it can be a little cumbersome, but you can pinch and gain access to cards. And it's just the method that comes because of the design of this. Now let's look at the x -Do. You're limited in the number of cards you purchased support for, meaning four, six, eight, or 10. That's your limitation. If you purchase the four and decide you want to put in more cards, it may fit another two or three, and you could cram a few here on top, but you are limited, whereas you know you're up to 12 here, so it's a one to 12, and this is a limited in the number that you have to purchase. Now, there are some reports of wear and tear happening on the edges of cards as you use them in and out of a wallet, because it's that tension between both the top and bottom here of this wallet that hold the cards in place. And so as you're moving cards in and out of here, there have been reports over time that it delaminates the, the edges of 
the credit cards. Another issue is if you don't have all the cards in here that you know you will see, you will feel, and you will hear that it rockets around a bit. Okay, so you really should be putting enough cards in here to prevent that from happening. Again, if you buy the 10 card version and you're only putting in five or six cards, you will have somewhat of a rattle because you'll have more capacity available than you are using. Now, when I did the, the carry test with uh, the Exto, I had two metal cards in there. I only carried it for three weeks, and so I didn't experience that delamination of my cards, but I understand carrying longer, and that is the case. Because I know a lot of people that prefer the Ridge, others that just love the Exto. I've carried both. I'm actually fine with both of these, to be honest. Uh, I think if I was to personally choose, I'd probably go with the Exto. But that's the comparison, and hopefully you found it useful. Give us your comments. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.